let's just sew whatever. Hey guys, so today I am opening this giant box from Tops and Bobbins. I'm super excited. I realized I was missing a few templates and for as many bags as I make, having the templates is a real time saver. Um, you can just trace so much faster with the plastic. You can definitely make your own with um, like cutting boards from the dollar store and stuff like that. Those work great. But these are really long lasting, they're a nice thickness. Um, and I love that I can use a dry erase marker to write on them and kind of leave notes for Tammy or myself. Ooh oh my gosh. Give you guys a peek at what's going on down here. They, so they wrap everything, oh my gosh. Um, like individually so nothing gets broken. There's so much, okay. Um, I love that they, oh my god, include these little name tags for all the patterns and everything. Oh my god, they sent me so many. Sorry, like there's some that I, I yeah, anyway, I'm super excited. Yeah, I love how well, oh. These are pieces of the bomb.com and the mighty messenger. Oh my God, I've never had the bomb.com template. So, so excited. So there's the additional cut list, bottom panel, the flap piece. Oh my gosh, why is this so cool to me? Um, this is a side panel of the mighty messenger. Um, and if you guys haven't heard of the mighty messenger, it is from fierce kitten studios. And I did do a video on it. I love it so much. Such a great quick pattern, you know, easily adaptable as well. Um, and the zipper template that I always use is made from Tops and Bobbins, but it's designed um, from the mind of by Piera. Ah, the Victoria wristlet. Why is this so awesome to me? I don't even know. <laughs> um, so it's printed on acrylic and then you just peel off this backing here. And then you can kind of use it to fussy cut and it's really nice thick lines so it's easy to trace around with a pen or you could even use a, a smaller rotary cutter like a 28 millimeter rotary cutter or something. Ugh, I'm so excited. And then, like I said, they include um, these little loops so you can string them all together and add, like, what the pattern name is, who it's by. Um, a lot of times I like to just kind of keep them together, but in a... Um, oops, almost lost my zipper tab. Um, keep them in a plastic bag as well. Um, just so it's a little bit easier to kind of quickly access them. This is so cool. And for some reason, I'm always more likely to make a pattern that I have a template for. Just because I know how much faster it is to trace it and cut it. All that jazz. Oh, the Elaine. So this is the one I initially was like, okay, I need it. I make... So many of the Elaine handbag, like I just needed. And the connector for the Elaine is my favorite. Oh, so beautiful. Yep, we got the lining, zipper tabs. This is the connector that I was like, I need this the most. So I'm really excited. Oh, main panel, and then there's the place for the magnet and everything. There's just something so satisfying about like seeing it in person. These side panels, they're so much easier to trace when they're nice sharp edges. The hidden pocket, I'm so very excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. This is so silly. 
Um, but yeah, they they all have these um, little key ring holes that are expertly picked. Ken by Ken. Maybe Denise does some too, but I know Ken does a lot of that. So yeah, the Elaine is one of my last released bags and it's one of my favorite. There's so many different options um, and it turns out looking so classy in the end. At least that's my opinion, I guess. And I love that all of this is recyclable too. If I didn't already say that. Oh, this is cool. So they include some of these just as like extra padding, which is really, really nice because you can reuse these too to ship later. Okay, back to opening. So this is the Mighty Messenger. I got the fussy cut version. I think it's really nice that they offer two different versions. So you can get one that isn't fussy cut, which means um, it's just the half piece or the fussy cut is the full piece, which I guess I could show you, so that you can better decide like what's going to be seen on your pattern. Yes. And I have like seven of these cut out to make, so I'm so excited to have these. <laughs> um, so there's the flat piece that's fussy cut. You can see it's the full length, so you can better decide. Um, yep, and this is the um, the body piece. So again, you can see that it's been mirrored to be the full size. Oh wow, that's really cool actually. And then here is the main flap. Um, when they mirrored it, it added two zipper pockets and I think that's actually kind of a cool idea, honestly, to add two zipper pockets to it. Okay. And they even take the care to like tape that inlaid zipper piece, because you can actually use that as your zipper um, template. You know, this is the full length you need, so you can lay that on your fabric, trace around to get that pocket size exactly how the designer intended it. So cool. Okay. I'm like doing a happy dance, I'm so excited. All right. like Christmas. And then this is the itty bitty crossbody bag, which I'm actually really excited for. Um, I sell quite a bit of these in at shows and I just kind of look at the measurements and go, but it's really cool to have the actual pattern. So if you're not sure what the itty bitty crossbody bag is, it's a pattern that I sell on my website for a dollar because there's no written instructions. It's just pattern pieces and a quick little video. Um, but it's such a quick little bag that you honestly don't even need the instructions for long-term. And it's just three pieces, which is really cool. Even though this is just your additional cut list, but I always like to include those. All right. Oh, wow, cool. So this one, again, this is just included as kind of a a way to keep everything safe, but you can reuse this to ship something else. So cool. Yeah. So someone's probably gonna get hardware in that, just saying. All right, I have two more. Ah! Um, and then this one is part two of the bomb.com beauty bag. Um, I haven't made a ton of these, which is weird because I designed the pattern, but I'm thinking I might make some of these for people for Christmas, especially now that I have the templates. Um, so the side accent piece, main panel, and then of course the lining. I was really proud of this pattern. So cool. Okay, last one. Sweet. Um, and then this is the marsupial hip bag. I do like to make these for shows too. And this is the fanny pack pattern that I have. Oh, why does that look so cool? I have no idea. 
Um, so here's the strap connector, but you can see my illustration, not great, but um, it's like etched in there, you know, that's what it is, it's laser cut. Um, ah, this is so cool. Um, yeah, all the pieces are here and then you've got your cut list. So cool. Okay, so I just wanted to say thank you again to Ken and Denise for sending this to me. Um, I remember a few years ago, I was living in my old house and I saw someone post in swim groups about the templates and I was like, gonna need those. So I think the first templates I ever ordered was the Annette bag, which I'm sure we're all just so tired of, but it's still such a good bag. Um, so here is their info. I'll include links below, but I do have a discount code with them. It's just so whatever. I'm pretty sure it's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money. You just get to save a little bit of money and support a great little business. Um, I've known them for, well, I haven't personally known them, but I've known them for a while and they're just so great. So thank you again so much. I'm so excited and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.